Today's review is of a premium cigar that embodies the very essence of this passion. Created by three cigar enthusiasts, Act 1 from Novo Cigars is the result of their shared love and dedication to cigars. Today I am going to explore its flavors and aromas, and at the end I am going to give it a score out of 100. Welcome to Daily Cigar, I am Lizardo and this channel is about all things cigar related, like this cigar review of the Act 1 by Novo Cigar. If you have seen my reviews before, then you know that I've already smoked one of the cigars where I take all the B-roll, the pictures, and I do my tasting sheet. I am lucky to have another one and I'm smoking it here. It is smoking really well. And when I received it, I wasn't just intrigued about how nice it looks and how nice it feels in your hand, but also the story behind it. How three cigar aficionados have joined forces to create a nice, beautiful, delicious cigar. And that's very exciting because to me, Personally, I like to see new new brands, new people joining and, and, and doing this because it will keep the smoking tradition alive. It will keep the culture, the industry, and all of us satisfied with new brands, new names, new ideas, and new blends. You know, sometimes the older brands, they stick to what they know, but when you have somebody new, especially when they are cigars, sommeliers, and when they are also you know, people who love smoking the cigars, it is very nice because they can come with other ideas. And I think that is exactly what happened here. This is a 52 by six, a total. It has Dominican filler, broadleaf claro wrapper, and a Dominican binder. The average smoke is about 90 minutes. And what I've noted is that although it has a double ligero, the leaf that gives it that strength, the power, is not so much in your face. I did notice that the flavors are very strong, very pronounced, but the nicotine is not so much, especially first and middle of the second third. But I'm gonna get into that a little bit more. First, how the cigar looks on the outside. When we're greeted with this cigar, we will see this yellow band that has black, gold, and the logo of Novo is in white. Now, if you can really zoom in and look into the logo, it has a lady on top and a gentleman below. It says Novo Cigars and Act One. The wrapper has a smooth velvety texture. It is firm, it's very nicely packed. And the aroma is of wood and some sweetness, a little bit of herb and obviously tobacco. When you touch the wrapper, it has a bit of oiliness and you can see some of the veins. Now the cold draw, the cold taste, you can pick up notes of wood, some spiciness and herbs. It has a uniform cup and the distribution is very good throughout. To tell you the truth, I am actually enjoying this cigar a lot more than the first one that I smoked. I think, you know, when you're taking pictures, videos, and all of this, you put the cigar down for too long. This one is burning so nice. Flavors are very pronounced. That's something that I really like. This cigar greets you with a little bit of spiciness. And I really like that because I think if it kind of wakens up your tongue and the sensory systems of to, to what's coming on the cigar. The draw is very easy, I would say almost perfect. You get enough draw so that you're able to pull enough smoke into your mouth to be able to taste all of those flavors and those profiles. The smoke is kind of thick, creamy, almost chewable, but easy to retrohale and easy to breathe. You know, I'm here in a room and it's easy to breathe. The smoke is not very strong, it's not uncomfortable. The strength that I find, and this is something that I've spoken to Elizabeth about is that although it's a double ligero, the strength of the cigar at the beginning to me is a medium, maybe medium to full. And that is something that Elizabeth said to me, they wanted to use a double ligero, but they didn't want it to be too strong to hit you straight away. It kind of builds up. Now, the body and flavors, they're there. It is very nice, very easy to pick up those flavors. And on this first third, I found some sweetness, some creaminess, some spice. The aroma was nutty with tobacco and the flavors are candied fruit, creamy, sweet honey, nutty flavors on the aftertaste and some coffee. The first third of this cigar is very enjoyable. You're able to pick up all of those notes. The aftertaste is very nice. It doesn't leave you with that strong tobacco, strong ammonia taste in your mouth and it builds up. I like that this cigar develops as you go along. It develops on body and it develops on strength. That is something that I really enjoy because it keeps you connected to the cigar. You're smoking it and every puff, every centimeter that you're smoking will 
surprise you, will give you something different. Moving into the second third is what I find that the cigar starts to build a little bit of strength, moving more into the full than to medium, but it's still very smokable, very easy. I'm smoking here, just drinking some coffee, more than enough. It is an espresso, but it is more than enough. And you don't feel that strong nicotine hit just yet. It is mostly after you take the band and that's when you feel that strong double head of kicking in. On the first cigar that I smoked, I had a little bit of an issue with the ash. It wasn't burning properly, but I think it's because, you know, I lay the cigar down, it goes off. This one is smoking very nice. It has an almost perfect ash. It is holding very well. I am moving my hands and it is not coming off. I think they've done an amazing job with this. They have also built another cigar. They have created another cigar. So we have Act 1 and Act 2. And here we have Les smoking Act 2 not long ago on her Instagram. You can check her out. I'm sure you already follow her because she's done very well on her Instagram. But you can see how well her cigar is smoking, how well the ash is, and how good of a work they've done. Can't wait to try that cigar. I am going to be doing an interview with her here on YouTube. Hopefully the other guys will join, but it, but I want to hear straight from them. How did they, how did they all come about? What was the motivation? And you know, a little bit of the story. And I want to bring it here on YouTube for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to be able to catch that video and press the bell icon so you're notified. On this third, I found some sweetness, again, some creaminess, and a little bit of dryness. The aroma from the smoke was chocolate, wood, tobacco, and the flavors. The flavors, there's a really strong flavor. I am actually picking it up now that I'm in the middle of the second third of cedar, wood, a spice. It is so enjoyable. Each third has their own flavors that you can pick up. It has its own strength that you can also feel. So it's a very enjoyable cigar to have. The last third was full strength and it is full body all the way through strong flavors, notes, easy to pick up. I would say that even for an untrained palate, it is an easy to smoke cigar, very nice to pair with coffee, whiskey, rum, and it is perfect after a nice steak dinner. I would say that it would be nice to pair this cigar with some coffee, maybe some hot chocolate, a whiskey, a rum, and the food to eat could be some meat, maybe some pork, even chicken, some barbecue, something like that would be perfect with a cigar like this because it has that strong notes that you're able to pick up even though the barbecue is quite smoky and quite strong. Now to the most important part of the video, how well did the cigar score? As I've been mentioning, I have really enjoyed the cigar. It has developed, it looked really nice, it feels very nice, the flavors are there, the nicotine builds up. So I have given it in appearance and manufacturing 96 points. Cigar characteristics, 95 points. Taste, which is something that I've really enjoyed on this cigar, 98 points. And the general impressions are 95. This is an average of 96. And although I did have a little bit of a problem with the ash at the first, with the first cigar that I smoked, this one has been perfect all the way through. Flavors are still there. Nothing has changed apart from the ash. So I am very happy with this cigar. And if this is the first cigars of this project, I can't wait to see what the future holds. I already have here Act 2 by Noble Cigars, Act 1. I am going to also review that cigar. I want to do the interview with the team, see if I can get them all together or at least list, which will be able to talk about the history, how everything came together, all of this, and what the future for the brand is. I really want to do this interview, so make sure you subscribe. Also, let me know your thoughts. Number one, what do you think about new brands popping up? And number two, do you agree with me that having entrepreneurs building new brands is a good thing for the cigar industry and the community? If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you enjoyed this review, I am going to leave you the playlist of reviews here my latest video and for you to subscribe just tap here make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified next time i drop a video and you can find me on instagram and twitter at daily cigar see you next time and remember smoke less but smoke the best